wanting the Democratic nod to run for president, but the evening's key question was how well Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders would do. Now, this was the first Democratic debate of the campaign in Valley News Live's Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro is in Las Vegas with much more. This is where the post-debate frenzy is happening. Here are some of the biggest moments from tonight's first Democratic primary debate. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. The majority of our country <laughs> supports background checks, and even the majority of gun owners do. We do need background checks. We need to keep the people who should not have guns away from them. But we have to respect the tradition in this country of people who want to defend themselves and their family from violence. And I will do everything that I can to make sure that the United States does not get involved in another quagmire like we did in Iraq, the worst foreign policy blunder in the history of this country. I believe that a no-fly zone in Syria at this time, actually, Secretary, would be a mistake. You have to enforce no-fly zones. And I believe, especially with the Russian Air Force in the air, it could lead to an escalation. I have not changed on the issues. I was a liberal Republican, then I was an independent, and now I'm a proud Democrat, but I have not changed on the issues. A lot of excitement here tonight. The Democrats have just five more primary debates. Reporting in Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Jacqueline Policastro. Now, more than a dozen people followed tonight's debate at this downtown watch party at Worst Beer Hall. And no matter the candidate, they all agreed the Democratic debate would differ from the Republican debate recently. We are not in this to attack anybody. We're not in this to um, further any one particular person or one particular issue. We're really in this to help the people that we represent every day. And that's the most important thing that we can do as a party. Recent polls show Clinton still leads the pack with Bernie Sanders coming in at second and the undecided Joe Biden in third.